God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, The Promise of a Divine Ruler. Our scriptures are found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. The Jews were delivered by God-sent help time and time again. One reason is because God loves them and keeps his promises. But another layer of truth is that enemies and oppressors don't just attack once. Satan's devices comes in waves, so it becomes necessary for God to rescue those whom he loves and prove himself stronger than the forces of evil, time and time again. We as modern day Christians will go into, through, and out of trials and attacks all throughout our lives. But as scripture states, joy comes when you've experienced a hard fought battle and won. Now you are able to celebrate and enjoy the spoils. Joy comes when you have planted seed, worked the field, fought off the things that would destroy the crop, and now it is harvest time. What we're reading about in this week's lesson is a shadow of believers being loosed from the poisonous bondage and influence of Satan and by the power of the Holy Ghost being brought into the light. There is joy in the light. The hope of eternal joy and deliverance, which we call salvation, would come through God with us, the Anointed One and his kingdom. All would come through Emmanuel. This is the prophecy of Isaiah and the promise of God. He is full of wonder, things we know not. That is why he is wonderful. How can he be both God and man? This is a wonder to all creation, living things in heaven, in earth, and beneath the earth. What other counselor knows the mind of God and can stand in the gap between a fallen mankind and the great I Am to bring them back together in a forgiven relationship of favor? He alone qualifies as the Prince of Peace and the weight of his established kingdom government rests on his shoulders as his responsibility. There is no end to his accomplishments, and the New Testament covenant is the written and spoken agreement with living details exercised by Jesus the Christ himself. Even though this message is to come through leadership by God's design, it is the responsibility of each individual to seek God's counsel, hear and listen to God's redeeming instructions, and then do what you have now received. No one can come into the light for you. Please share our lessons and leave us a comment. Tell us what you've learned from this week's lessons and insights. 
We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.